and welcome back to episode 9 of Mag Sam's Let's Play Golden Sun. I'm RM2K Mini, and with me is Deathtron Hammer. Kill this tree, I want its maple syrup. Maple syrup it is. So when we last left off, uh, Ivan was dead because I suck. So I went all the way back out, and I got him revived back in the village, and I came back and got several levels of experience and upgraded their equipment. Yeah, so we're sitting pretty now. During that time, I actually tamed two ducks. One's name Mallard Fallen and James Ian Buchanan. Those are your ducks' n names? The ducks I tamed, yes, while you're going to get Ivan restored. Can you didn't show me these ducks? Well, because I already sold them to an illegal duck fighting. Oh. Circuit. So they put like knives on the the bill. No, they just sharpen the bills. Oh, to the razor edge. Brutal. It's this new sword I get. Sometimes it's this critical attack. Um, I put it on Isaac. It's called Vorpal Sword. But we don't get to see it this round. Because Ivan stole your thunder. Yes. Ivan has this staff now that does lightning damage and sometimes stuns the enemy. You know what? I don't want maple syrup. You know what I'd rather have poured on my waffles or pancakes? There you go. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's pretty good. Vanilla Cruisin. Oh, like the liqueur? Yeah. Pour that on. I'll, I'll have that as the syrup on my waffles or pancakes. So they put this little bubble around you so you can see where you are. But everything's hidden. I like to think that Isaac has an aura so powerful that things just disintegrate around him. Oh, right. This is a little bit tricky. Um, and it might be a little bit sticky, because, you know, ah! spider webs! Scorpion! is a spider. You know, I've never seen that amalgamation. You take a spider and you put a scorpion tail on it? That would honestly be pretty scary. Like a Shadow Hearts-esque villain or, or uh, monster. Yep, yeah, that would fall into its category. The souls of dying spiders combined into one and given a sharp pointy tail. It stings people it doesn't like. Horribly. And they and they can eat white rice for two years. White rice becomes poison. They have to go to the hospital every time. Near fatal poisoning. That'll teach them. Well, because well, no, this isn't really spoilers. The description of one monster in Shadow Hearts Covenant is that gazing upon it renders you infertile for a year. Huh. So can you imagine that it's like a contraception or birth control? Okay, are you sure? Yeah, I, I, I don't want kids. All right, come into this room. I just walk through and just look at this thing. Okay. Oh, what is that? Ah! Yeah, all right, you can come out. All right, you're now infertile for a year. <laughs> you, you won't be having kids for the year. Really? Yeah. That's it? <laughs> yeah. Go crazy. I mean, you'll still get STDs, but... <laughs> Is there a monster I can look at so I don't get STDs? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Dr. Deathtron. Is that a spider? I'll name him Squeakor. That stone up there restores your uh, synergy one time. But you know, I can't trust pets around you on too. Remember when I had that petty bola virus? Oh, yeah, and I uh, put it in the microwave. Yeah. And you laughed! You laughed as you watched it scream and die! Yeah. I'm not a big fan of hemorrhagic fever. Oh, this you, Jibbity Doo. Jibbity 
chippity doo. Yeah, chippity doo the Ebola virus. You got a bum? Uh, no. You can name your Ebola virus whatever you want. Oh yeah, like you named it dead. So to get through here, you have to hop over this, but you can only step on that thing once. So getting the thing out of the treasure chest means you'll be falling down a floor. So this, this ring is actually pretty cool. Uh, let me give it to uh, Ivan. It's a free, it's a cure spell, but you just use the item. It never runs out. But wait, really? Yeah. It doesn't use any MP or uh, PP. Whoa, that's kind of broken, but awesome. It only restores 70 each time, but... Is there any downside at all? I don't know if it'll break or not. I don't think the equipment breaks in this game, but... As far as I can tell, there's no limit to how much you can use it. Huh, if there's no break or charge, that needs to be set. Wow, okay. Wow, infinite heat. That'd be perfect for grinding. Yeah. Damn bees. What if they aren't bees and they're flying the rats? Flee their mouse. Yeah, that is a bad technically, but I mean, <laughs> literally rats with the scaly tail and the pink claws and So does everything. it sting you? It, like, it just bites you and gives you hantavirus? Yeah, yeah, gives you hantavirus and, um... What was down here? Yeah, it's a rat with wings and what kind of... And it'll have really gross fly wings. Ew. Yeah. Is those the Smurfs? No. Yes! Crush them and do whatever Gargamel would do to them if you could get a hold of a Smurf. I don't think it's ever explicitly stated in the Smurfs what Gargamel would do, but he just wanted to crush them. Because he hates them. Well, because they could do something, apparently. If you crush them, it's never stated what you could do if you crush them. But, yes, crush them. STUN VOLTAGE! I'M AMAZING! Oh, it's a creeper now. He's not amazing. He's creep. What was that line? Uh, it was in that song, All Cartoons Are Fucking Dicks. Yeah. And it was- they had a line about the Smurfs. That's the only purpose move. Oh yeah, that was pretty racist. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> super racist. Well, it still makes a point. Like I'm appalled, so I actually go went and told Gargamel where the village was. <laughs> but you stopped me, Arm Two, from actually saying that part of the song. <laughs> yeah, if you want to hear the song, uh. I don't know if you can get it online or whatever. The Family Guy Live in Las Vegas album. Yes. There we go. The game almost froze. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think. They just make you do this so you can get in random battles. Uh, I hate random battles. But they make you strong. Random battles are like medicine. They make me strong. Random battle a day keeps the doctor away? But here's the thing. If they didn't have random battles, then you would have to seek out combat. Yeah. Either way, fighting's gonna be involved. Yeah, that's what does happen in the action RPGs. Now, can you imagine if this was a D&D &D game? And there are a few steps, oh, you encounter a rat, an orc, and a da-da-da. That quickly. I, I roll a D, my D20 to attack this, and... You have, like, a 15% chance of going into a battle. Yeah. For well, people, would, step. people would quit because they couldn't get anything done. No. Nah. Oh, a gin. Oh, whoa. Hey, hey. Whoa. Hey, hands off. Okay. A gin. Now we gotta be pretty hardcore here. Man, that almost sounds like something, a drink I could get behind. Jupiter Gin. Mm. 
I'd have to make it look like a swirl like Jupiter is. Maybe even have the red storm, the red dot. Although, didn't that dissipate? Ah! It oh. ran away. You just walk through here. That was annoying. Risking random battles. I want to get strong, I'll keep fighting. Can you see why I don't like this dungeon? Because it gets spammed? Yes. Hey, 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 at least it's not as bad as Code Delta. That's true. That was ridiculous. A little behind the scenes tidbit there. We were actually having two conversations <laughs> simultaneously. In Kodalka, yeah. Yeah. We'd literally, like, camera would turn on, we'd be talking like what you guys would hear, and then the random battle would start, and the other conversation would just pick up right where we left off. Yeah. All right, round two. Let's just do 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 do. I don't know the elemental table here, so we'll just take a random guess here. Gray whirlwind or plasma? Plasma. Plasma. Bam. Ramses. <laughs> Am I gonna punch you? Nope. Rocks. Now. Oh, what a sucker punch. Uh. Kind of like Rashara. You gotta keep on hitting. Volcano. Plasma. Team Plasma. I have a friend out there who actually... He didn't play the first Pokemon White Black. And he played White Black. Ooh. Nice. Breeze! That's such a cheesy name. So he didn't play the, uh... He didn't play the first White Black, so what he did, he was like, since his, your save data apparently from the first White Black goes into White Black 2, he was like, can I use your data so that when I, when I play and they bring up, um, the hero of the previous game, I know it's like you and I'm uncovering what you did, so it's like, oh yeah, Death John Hammer did this with a flamethrowing Venusaur. How is that possible? So, you saw my ring broke. Uh, oh, your cure ring broke? So I think you can repair it in town at the artifact shop. But I was surprised because you still have it in your inventory, but it just doesn't work anymore. Maybe to cure people, Ivan's punching you with it. And then finally it just broke against um, someone's face. Come on! No, I love how you're stabbing the little spider instead of just stabbing, stabbing on, on it. it. Yeah. Oh no, a tarantula! I'm gonna blow up my sword! We'll skip this battle. Let's we'll start skipping the random battles for a little bit. Because it'll get monotonous if we keep doing it. So far, I've been keeping it low key. Yeah. This is a pretty low key let's play until we get to the uh, boss of boss. Uh, we'll start skipping those battles for you. <laughs> oh man, the music is also like making me sleepy. It's trying to turn you into a tree. Drink! You didn't get yourself a drink before we started recording? Wow. Serves you right. Serves you wrong. That doesn't make any sense. That's my dog. Vorpal Slash! It'll be kind of like one of those martial arts anime 
where everyone shouts out the names of their attacks as they're doing them. And totally telegraph it to any opponent. For some reason, the opponents never figure out. Forward thrust! Ah, I wonder what he's going to do! Exactly. So we're at the top of the tree, basically. And what we want to do here... ...is fall here. Uh, whoa! 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 whoa. 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 Ah, my ass. That actually just takes you all the way straight to hell and the game turns actually really dark from <laughs> Ooh. Mr. Trent is here. The real face. <clears throat> you, you hope to find my kindly self? Uh, uh, fools! You should have never come here, and now you shall never leave. Your powers protected you in the forest, but now you are in the heart of my power. Here, you will all become trees, and you'll wither with the rest of us. And he turns into one of those flaming skull things, for whatever reason. Oh, look, look at his expression. He's just like, he's not even looking at you guys. Just looking over some sort of like, ah, 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 ah. His teeth are yellow. He's never had his teeth brushed. How do you do that if you're a tree? Or maybe his wooden teeth. I don't know, you just have some Scottish brush grown here. Yeah. Ah, uh, screw you, Scottish brush. You were such a pain in the ass to pull out of the ground. Oh, like a Scotch broom? Yeah. Okay, that stuff is horribly, uh, horrible for people with allergies. It has that yellow flower in the springtime. Yeah. It's just sticky and spiky. No, I don't have allergies, but the stuff grows in forests almost at our family cabin in my aunt, uh, aunt Grace Tron Hammer. <laughs> um, uh, she's super allergic to this stuff, so what we'd have to do, we have to go out there and pretty much play scorched earth in the front yard of the cabin. Gaia, that's interesting. We can drop enemy resistance, delude. You've only been to our cabin once ever, haven't you? Three times. Three times? Yes. I see. Only stayed twice, though. I see. We should go back and record an episode there. That'd be weird, but very interesting. There'd have to be some classic episode, uh, classic games. Yeah, there definitely have to be NES games to commemorate. That's where we played all our NES. We never actually owned one ourselves until much later. Yeah, my uncle Chucktron Hammer had a <laughs> Nintendo. And, um, yeah, and he had an amazing collection of uh, Nintendo games that, you know, if I put it in play. You felt Tret! Timber, motherfucker! happened to me? Huh? Was I? I see, my heart was all but lost in my rage. And you defeated the evil within me? Yeah. Thank you, I could not leave this world with so much evil in my heart. I am free now to leave the world without regret. Goodbye, great warriors. Hey! Hey, wait a minute. We can't let Trent die like this. 
That's right, Isaac. We still need his help. What? Why have you not left me to my dying? Do you need something? Uh, yeah. I turned the people of Colima into trees? I must release them before I die with the forest. Um, 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 um. I can't do it. My power no longer reaches Colima. People of Colima, forgive me. You all die as trees. Tret's too weak. He doesn't have the power to save Colima. No, we have to heal him. We can't let the people of Kalima die with the forest. Every life in Kalima depends on us. We have to restore Trent and save the people of Kalima. So let's collab to Kalima. Huh. He's this hollow inside. He's probably dead already. It's not like... <laughs> wow! It's not like the axe on the outside made a big difference. He's hollow inside. He's I don't even see any damage except for that hole. Well, talk to this face. Dot, dot, dot. Mind read! People of Kalima, forgive me. Laurel, what do you have to say? Leave now, before this forest is destroyed. The healing waters of Mercury Lighthouse might save Trent, but the fountain's waters have long since dried up. So now we gotta go find our Mercury Lighthouse. Uh, you know, that could actually be a pretty rockin' band name. Mercury Lighthouse? Yeah! Retreat! Random battle of a drone bee. Bam! Alright. Let us continue to search for the uh, mythical lighthouse. Follow the yellow brick road. Go away. I can't escape. Well, they're already running on their own. <laughs> so do you know where the Mercury Lighthouse is? Yes. Ghost still hasn't decided to possess the skeleton. What's this? Colima Bridge. Oh. <laughs> I can't use it because the trees... That butt tree isn't really gonna help you. Alright. Take the long way home. These rats have surprisingly high defense. the lighthouse. There's Colima. No services. There's been barricade. To Billabin. Get ourselves healed up. Nobody died this time, that's pretty good. A 
Let's see if I can repair that ring now. If they'll let me. Take a look at our fine boy friends. What need to fix them? 200 coins. I got about 10 uses out of it. That's not terrible, but I won't use it so irresponsibly anymore. He slammed the hammer into it. <laughs> Ask me anything about armor. stuff sucks. We don't need your stuff. I can't believe no one's vandalized that statue of McCoy's wife. <laughs> there in the center. It's like this is all her fault. Yeah. Alright. To the Mercury Lighthouse. They do add up. Man, I don't want to think about how much time is passing for you to journey this long and this far to get to the Fairy the Lighthouse. Little Bin Cave Entrance. This is where I picked up that sword I've been using. Wait, this far is still considered Billabin? Yeah. Jeez. Billabin must be a. Uh... A nation unto itself. Yeah, Scottish people don't mess around. Fantasy Scottish? He's the only, like, Scott you yeah. encountered in this world. So you came in through here. It's kind of a back way. And that's the treasure chest I got the, um, the sword from. Just in case you're wondering, you don't have to buy the sword, you can just get it for free. A ghoul appeared. Warple Slash! Yes. It's like, what are those? Did I get that, um, maybe Breeze gave me that ability. When I was here earlier, I didn't have Breeze. Uh, no. I don't get it. Later on, there's something you can get to use. Use the puzzle. That puddle will turn into something and it'll let you climb up. I don't oh, know. that's pretty neat. I think it's like a blizzard or a... I don't know how it works. Or maybe you push this. Mind read. No. Uh, I'm ice. That's a... Can't you just knock over one of those torches on the fire thing? Yeah. Nope. Do I have any abilities that can use that sort of battle? Since that hand is a hand made by your mind and that's really cold, do you think you get brain freeze? <laughs> Touch like, ugh. Wow. And we're through the Billabin Cave. That point reminds me of a Chrono Trigger. <laughs> yeah, it does. The one thing that spoilers for a game that's old. <laughs> Play Chrono Trigger. <laughs> no, I think about it. Jeez, and this is still considered Billabin. Well, I'm sure the cave is the border. Bears. Whoa. Mauler one, Mauler two. I like how this world's honest was what these are. Yeah. No, that's a Mauler. What does that do? It's a mauler. Can you guess what it does? 
Oh! Yeah, so stay away. Stay away from the mauler, kid. It's pretty hardcore to take down a bear with your bare hands, or the sword, even. There was a guy, I'm trying to remember one catch of that, it was a few months ago. He actually choked a bear to death with his hands. That's hardcore. Yeah. I, I bet even the bear was like surprised and thrown off. Like, what? Snow Village and the White House. Welcome to Emil. Oh, whoa. And on that note, I think we'll put a pin in it here. <gasps> He's left. Peace out. Peace out, people. Peace out.